And I swear to God, if Shaq had gotten out of that ambulance, oh, that would have been great. But no, it was Hangman with some kind of weapon. He two by four with nails. Apparently. Shaq should have been driving. Yeah. yeah. Hangman got out of the driver's seat. Yeah. So Hangman hits the ring. The Blackpool Combat Club flees. So Kenny is down, having been beaten by the BCC. Callus is tending to Kenny. Hangman has his back turned to Callus. Callus taps Kenny in the shoulder. Kenny turns around and raises the weapon. And Callus uh, flinches. But that's it. And then Callus looks around, looks at Kenny, looks at Hangman. He like taps Kenny, taps Hangman again, then takes the biggest bump of his entire career. And Omega gets to his feet and sees Callus down and paves the weapon. Says, what's going on? Callus is frantically pointing at Hangman. Also backing up a terror. Don't hurt me, he pleads. Don't hurt me. An incredible weasel. Omega believes Callus and leaves with him as Hangman's wondering what the hell is going on. That sure was a show. That sure was a wrestling show. No doubt about that. You know, the only thing almost as good as that Vikingo... Kenny Omega match was that bump that Don Callis took. <laughs> it was amazing. God. It takes one bump every 15 years. He, he makes it count. He fucking waved his arms, and he stood on one leg, and he tried to catch his balance. He waited for some guy to just slide a crash pad in, but didn't happen. And finally, he just starts falling and falling and falling, and somehow he hit that mat, and it made no sound. <laughs> it did the softest. I was dying. Watching this bump. It was just like, God. You know what? It's a rare man. And it sickens me to have to do this for this fucker. But it's a rare man who has to go to the Hall of Awesome twice. Hmm. And I'm afraid. And I haven't looked yet. Maybe it's only once. I can't I, imagine. I think he's been in before. I can't imagine we'd have ever stooped so low as to do it. I think that we before. put him in, but uh, he's going in again. Don Callis, huh. hereby inducted again. All right. Into the Hall well, of Awesome. And God damn it, you know what? Kenny Omega and Vikingo, well, that's, you are in the Hall of Awesome as well. I, you have been inducted into the Hall of Awesome. I was awestruck. Yes. Watching that match. It was know, awesome. The only quali qualification to be in the Hall of Awesome is are you awesome? And no soul can deny that Vikingo and Omega are awesome. You know, there was a guy in the front row who had one of those fucking cornet signs. You know they, those guys? Sure. Yeah. yeah. This fucker was losing his shit during this match. Because <laughs> you know what? It was fucking awesome. And we can pretend all we want. We can play a gimmick all we want. But sometimes we just can't help ourselves but be real. Mike Sempervivi here with you for the next hour talking professional wrestling, which is something we do every single day here on this program. What kind of mustache did Vince McMahon have? Well, what goddamn! If you had questions about my mustache, you just had to ask! My god, Vince, is that you? Hell yeah, it's me! What are you doing in my chair, kid? Yeah, yeah no, listen, I'm here, everybody, for a moment. You are. Because I know the only thing that anybody cares about is this stupid mustache story. I get a text. He's back, LOL. First, I was told he was snuck into the building. I started getting messages. Dude, he's got a mustache. You ever seen uh, uh, Gomez Adams from the Adams Family? That's what his mustache looked like. And he also had jet black hair. I got a sale to facilitate, so I'm out of here. Shave that thing. Oh my God. Wrestling Observer Live. I went to Rite Aid. Oh, no. And uh, they had, uh, I don't know, that. I think it was by L'Oreal or something like just, that. Just for men. This right. is apparently not to be used to color all of your hair black. Uh-huh. So I got home and I just... <laughs> I start running the water through my hair and, like, I can't even get my fingers through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hair like seven, eight times. Till it fell out? Finally, I was like, dude, I got to cut my hair off. This stuff is not coming out. <laughs> I thought I was so clever making fun of him and spoofing his mustache and dyeing my hair black and going in there looking like Vincent Price. And what happens in the end? I end up having to shave my head because of this guy. I think Vince watches this show every week. He goes into the archives. He watches the Retro Raw. He follows along with us. Okay. And he was watching this show, and he saw old Burt Reynolds. Man, he saw Ron and Sheer marking out for this guy, and he was like, that's the secret of mustache. And he went out and got a blonde with big boobs. 
I don't know about that one. Oh. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.